Hello and welcome everyone to this week's COT review. I'm Thomas from cotbase.com. Today we're going to be looking at the 31st Commitments of Traders Report of 2020. Before I start the review, if you're new to COT analysis, then here at COT Base we offer a lot of help uh, and educational material, uh, some tutorial videos and uh, written materials on the Commitments of Traders Report. So please check that out. Uh, back to the review and starting off with silver, which is on top of our list uh, with a 22% change in commercials positions. You can see there's a much greater 35% change in large speculators. And let's not forget about small speculators who are at a 30% change. Uh, but uh, caution, they are actually uh, with this change uh, producing a bearish uh, signal, uh, which is uh, not common. We are uh, normally witnessing small speculators correlating with large speculators, but in this case, in this recent move, they actually followed commercials. I would still put more emphasis on the uh, bullish COT chain signals uh, given by large speculators and commercials simply uh, due to the fact that they are the most important participants uh, in the markets. Uh, if we move on to the five years chart, you may see that we are more or less in between the two major extremes. We had a uh, a bearish extreme just at that top then we had a relative bullish extreme nothing too special but uh, actually um, it was enough for for pushing the market much higher the good thing is uh, if you are uh, uh, expecting this market to rise further we do not have any uh, bearish extremes uh, at the moment so this suggests that the uh, the rally could easily continue in silver uh, gold will be our next market. Uh, of course, uh, similar picture over there, slightly smaller changes, 18% uh, uh, change signal in uh, uh, commercials and 20% change in large speculators. Definitely greater than average, but maybe not as uh, large and, and, and special as it was in a case of silver. So bullish COT change signals over there. Um, to the five years chart and you may now see that we have moved away from uh, significant bearish extreme levels uh, but we're definitely in this case closer to those bearish extremes than it was the case uh, for silver so that's interesting uh, definitely the report suggests this rally may continue on uh, for some time coffee is the next market with a 16 percent change in commercials positions uh, in this case, we are talking about a bearish COT chain signal suggesting weakness coming early next week. Uh, this signal is, uh, if you compare it to the uh, past 52 weeks that you can see on the charts over here, uh, it, it, it shows you that the change was larger than average, but you may also see that uh, similar changes uh, do happen in the coffee market quite often. Uh, so that's some, something you should uh, consider it is bearish uh, no question about that jumping over to the five years chart you may see that we are gradually getting closer and closer to those uh, significant bearish extreme levels which as you may see in the past were pretty successful uh, signals uh, this as you may see could easily grow in size uh, so this trend can continue we may see higher prices coming before we actually uh, reach that bearish extreme from where we can expect the trend to change. Moving on to large speculator COT extreme, we've got the euro on top of our list with an all-time COT extreme, not only in large speculators, but as you may see, that's the case uh, for small speculators and large speculators, uh, sorry, uh, commercials, large speculators, and small speculators uh, all over the, the market. Everybody is at their uh, all-time extreme. That is, this is of course a bearish uh, all-time extreme signal suggesting uh, that uh, we are very close to a top. Uh, as I said many times before, caution is advised at these all-time extremes. They they could easily continue on for some time. Uh, so you know, COT analysis is a great tool. Uh, measures the stress levels in the market very very well, but it's not something that you should uh, act upon right away So uh, you should just use this tool uh, together with everything else that you uh, You analyze markets with and come to a conclusion one thing's for sure stress levels are high uh, And based on the report we expect uh, a shift in the trend uh, we had that bullish extreme not that long ago back in February. Seems that if uh, it seems to me that that signal was successful, eventually stopped the decline 
and now the path is, uh, as you may see, uh, the, ra the rally is going on in the euro market. Let's look back in time what happened when we had a, a significant bearish extreme in the euro. Uh, January of 2018, that was the case. That actually uh, stopped that rally that's been going on for quite some time before that. Uh, and, and, and and signal this top. So it's hard to tell if this is the top, it might you know just go on for another uh, few more weeks, uh, but it's very, very interesting and something you should definitely keep in mind uh, when trading the Euro. And of course, we're not surprised to see that the dollar index is uh, the next market with 137 report extreme in large speculators. Uh, you may see greater extreme in commercials, 394 extreme. Uh, report extreme and 557 report extreme in the case of small speculators of course this is a bullish cot extreme signal and i could just simply repeat what i just said at the uh, uh for the euro that these extremes of course may go on and on before uh, you actually see a shift in the trend nevertheless uh, it signals stress levels are very very high here and uh, something uh is going to happen uh, maybe not right now but eventually we should see a rebound in the dollar index uh, the true dollar index of course that's something for our subscribers gives you a little bit more detailed picture of the market uh, copper will be the last uh, market we analyze for this review and here you may find a hundred and nine report extreme uh, for large speculators, and uh, that's the case in commercials as well. Uh, it's visible, no question. This is a bearish COT extreme signal. We've seen greater extreme in the past. This one from June of 2018 is an example for that. Uh, also uh, showing you how successful these bearish extreme signals have been in the past. But again, I, I don't want to uh, emphasize, uh, I don't want to repeat myself, but I should emphasize that uh, these uh, bearish extremes uh of course uh, being large don't do not does mean that it cannot grow to even greater levels uh so that's something you should keep in mind uh so that was all for this review of course this is a brief review showing you a few markets if you want to look at all the markets you could do so uh at cot base uh, you may also look at new cot report types other data types analyze any sorts of data sets that you wish uh, dig deeper by looking at multiple uh, report changes uh, compared to a defined look back period or you may analyze the COT index, the COT move index. We've also got this wonderful long term trend indicator and uh, you may also look at volume and open interest scores as well. I hope you enjoyed this review. I wish you a pleasant weekend. Take care. Goodbye.